Ah, Marcus Conti, how are you? <laughs> it's a little delay reaction right there. Uh, so today's um, it's a Saturday in New York. It's uh, September fifteenth. Proof of life. So the interesting week in news. I don't really have any uh, particular story. I think the ongoing story. I'll talk about Cynthia Nixon one more time. The the gubernatorial race here in New York, because it's very important. I know people don't give a shit about it. I know people would rather focus on you know you know draining the swamp. We're going to drain that swamp, right? But they, but and then they they ignore the fact that the elections in the United States are, are totally rigged. Right? I'll give you an example, right? Why you should why should you be concerned that the Democrats are eating each other, stealing elections, and holding corporatists that represent one half of the the uh, you know the the government representation? Why should we be concerned that they cheat and they 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 uh, if you if you don't care about them right? Why should I care? Why why should I care what they what the Democrats do to fellow de you know other Democrats? Because it's the same analogy of when. When corporations go after someone like Alex Jones, for example, and silence him, we should all be outraged, right? When you see a an election in a huge state, a very important, you know, pivotal state like New York State, and you see that the elections are clearly rigged and, and a candidate doesn't have a chance, and, you know, and, uh, especially in New York where, you know, it's it's the Clintons, it's, you know, it's, it's uh, Eric Schneiderman, it's Cuomo, you know, it's, Kirsten Gillibrand, Chuck Schumer, these are some of the most corrupt politicians, you know, that we have right now, right? And so that's all I say is that when you see that sort of thing, when you see a Cynthia Nixon, although you may not like her or like, you know, she's too left, she's too liberal, she's too lesbian, she's too women, she's whatever, whatever you care about, right? Is that you should always be excited when the insert when there's an insurgent candidate that's that's rocking the boat. That could it, uh, potentially overthrow the uh, the incumbent, right? And and that was clearly rigged. Now you're seeing new news. I mean, everybody's reporting now that that the uh, that there was voter suppression. People went to the polls and and their name wasn't on the ballot. Their name wasn't on the rolls. They got a provisional ballot that gets thrown in the garbage. That should that should bother everyone. They break you know to 2016, 200,000 votes. Voters purged off the rolls illegally. Right? They admitted it in open court. Said we're gonna we're gonna change. We're gonna change. And what they do? They took. Not only did they not change and and you know rig the election, but they now they, their smears are getting more and more and more intense. Right? We saw all that this this week. So it should it should uh, enrage people. Uh, the other thing is this. It's like, look, I, I'm running. I'm running for. United States Senate on a platform of, of uh, financial reform, a new deal for the United States, right? Where you raise the corporate tax rate 80%, you decrease military spending by 80%, you 100% you voter integrity. If we have to go to paper ballots, hand counting, we do it, right? right? You, have to, you, have to use, you have to do universal single-payer health care. You have to get big pharma out of the, out of the pocket of these... Uh, 535 representatives, right? You have to get money out of politics. It's not just Citizens United. You have to make bribery illegal again, right? You have to make giving bribes illegal again, taking bribes illegal again, all those things, right? And right now, you, you say to yourself, well, well, that's that's socialism. We're, we're a capitalist country. It's like, well, I'll give you an example, right? For example, in, in your capitalist society right now, right now they're, they're, there's a bunch of people, they're, they're doing this uh, weekly jobless claims. Now, these numbers are skewed. They are, they are interesting, but they're not, they're not all inclusive. They don't tell the whole picture. Like, so weekly jobless claims are the claims that people make when the economy is bad and they go and they claim unemployment benefits, right? That's a, a jobless claim. Most people have stopped doing that because they, ex they exceed the 26 weeks. You're only entitled to 26 weeks in a rolling 52-week period, right? So once that's exhausted, you stop going to, to the claims. Now, the other part of it, that's not the whole picture, but that's part of it. The other part of it is that, that minimum wage jobs are on the rise where people are working two jobs, three jobs, and they still don't have enough money to, to, to get by, right? So 
So what they do is they end up on the food stamp rolls or they end up on the welfare rolls, right? Well, they're, they're, they're dramatically overworked and underpaid, right? So that's the America you want to live in? That's the country that you're, you're touting, the, the economy's improving? Food stamps, 19, 2013, at the height of Obama, right? 47 million people, 47 million Americans were on food stamps. Right now, in 2018, the number is 40 million. So that's 7 million less people on food stamps. You could tout that number. You could say that of 330 million people in the country, 7 million less are on food stamps. You could say that. But again, when, when, you, have, when you have this massive uh, object poverty, meaning that people are... There are, there are minimum wage jobs, security jobs, you know, shit jobs that... That, that just, and I, and I don't mean to say that what you do is shit. I mean that that's all that's available to most people. Those used to be college jobs. You know, people in college would get a job like that. Right? And, and now, most people, that's all they can uh, get. So you still have, instead of maybe one out of seven people on food stamps, maybe it's one out of eight. whoop de fucking do Congratulations, right? But again, voter integrity, that's, I mean, that's, that's the biggie. See, if you, look, people say, well, how are you going to pay for it? How are you going to pay for it? How are you going to pay for it? Corporations don't pay tax. I, I sound like a broken record. Corporations don't pay tax. Most of the time, they take the money, any gains they get, and they, they, they reinvest it in a, in, a, in, a, in a tax haven. They move it offshore. They, they redistribute the money. They take it. And then they say they build this other, they start this other project that's going to take 20 years. And that money sits there and nothing happens for 20 years. They take the money. They don't pay the tax that's supposed to hit the real economy, right? That's, that's very, very important. That's where you could, you could get a, a financial, you could create a cultural and financial boom in the United States by just taxing the, the 10 to 12,000 corporations that don't pay a nickel in tax. That's one. So you raise the corporate tax, you lower individual income tax down to maybe 10%, right around the same as sales tax, right? Well, you could, you, over time, you could probably eliminate that as well, right? A new deal for America. That's what, that's what we're talking about. And I think that, I mean, it's not disputable. Most people in America, when you ask them, want universal single-payer health care. They want, they want the right to bear arms they, they want no one wants foreign insurgency wars endless wars 700 billion in military spending nobody wants that right? but we still have it why because it's military industrial complex nobody wants to pay 4275 for a for a prescription that costs 10 cents to make but we have that because of big pharma Nobody wants to be on food stamps, but we have that because we don't have a thriving economy. Nobody wants a fake media, but we have that because of a, a, a corporate oligarchy, people, a very few people who control so much. So anyway, that's my rant. I think the big picture is uh, inescapably this, this week is that, I mean, I, I, I just, look, I'm, I'm kind of new with, with, with uh, this medium, and I, I could tell you that just looking at the number of, when I put out a video about, you know, some YouTube blogger who's, who's full of shit, right, or, or, or murder mystery, there's, there's you know, 4,000, 5,000 views. When I put out something about, about you know, voter registration or, or voter integrity, a couple hundred people, right? So... I mean, it's very revealing. I mean, it's more interesting to talk about the rabbit hole and go after, you know, go after, you know, minor crooked people and expose them. It's fun, right? But the fact is that th that these voter, this, uh, this, these voter purges and voter suppression and, you know, election tampering, not voter fraud, not a, a busload of Mer uh, Mexicans flying, you know, coming over the border and voting, going home. That's not what's going on. But clear and, and, and convincing evidence to suggest that our elections are rigged in the form of voter election fraud, meaning that, that, that all of, the, all of the, the chips are stacked against an insurgent candidate, right? 
And then the final thing is the actual rigging of the machines or the, the actual counting of the ballots. All the suppression is in place to, con to, to manufacture consent. And then the final blow, if it looks like, it, like for example, with when Bernie Sanders exceeded Hillary Clinton so much that they actually fudged the numbers. They, you know, they actually, the actual, the actual vote, they actually, you know, rigged the, the, the count, right? All of the suppression was in place, but, but it was such a tsunami of, uh, of, of interest in Sanders that, um, that they, they just, they went, they went for the nuclear option, which is just to outright cheat. So anyway, my name is Marcus Conti reporting. Uh, it's just a, just a, it's just a nice day in New York. I'm gonna, I got a song. Uh, I'm very I'm very cautious about I'm very uh, uh, self conscious about putting out music because I don't sing all the time. I don't play anymore. You know what I mean? I just I'm like a weekend warrior. I used to play all the time. I used to play on the subway. I used to, you know, play on a daily basis. But uh, I I don't I don't do that anymore. So I, I'm a little conscious. But anyway. I got a song. Um, it, it reminds me of. It's kind of along the lines of the uh, this the theme of this, which is the people who make it stay. Right. I, I'm here. I mean, I'm not going anywhere. You know. I. I mean, I. I am who I am, and you know. I. I just again, the, what comes to mind is a Cynthia Nixon who, who runs on this 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 platform of, you know, quality and 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 uh, all the bu all the bullshit quote progressive policies that they talk about right and then once the election's over they go away they, they just they turn and they say oh yeah we'll support we'll support Cuomo she's going to support or just not or just go away and stop fighting same thing with Sanders he joins you know joins the Democrats and starts screaming Russia 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 Trump please bad it's fucking bullshit right you gotta people who make it stay stay to stay stay true to who you are you know what I mean so uh so that's what that's what uh, I remember. I wrote the song a long time ago, but I, I remember that's what it was about. So so uh, be nice. Don't don't. Uh. My name is Marcus Conti, uh, opinionist today and um, candidate for the United States Senate. Peace. My head is spinning sometime. I don't know why I'm still here. Dream about you And days go by And never fear I know i seen you Down at Dago's Bar and Grill When the lights go down On New York town I'm still Here Yeah, I'm still Here Make the most Make a toast to the winners And hold me close when I read the post about the sinners I know I've seen you down at Dago's Bar and Grill When the lights go down on New York town I'm still here I'm still here Make my day Walk away The light's still on Make my day The light of the sun Yeah Older Older Bench at all the schools I'm wasted Wasted by love's rules Don't make a sound We're breaking ground in the United States And what was up? He must come down in our face I know I've seen you Down the Dago's Bar and Grill Let's go down on New York town. I'm still here. Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, I'm still here.